Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah Garrison with Jake, and we have some important information we'd like to share with you. Hello, my name is Dr. Bernadine Cruz. It's not uncommon for me to hear the words, Oh, doctor, this dog must have been abused by its previous owners. It's such a fearful dog. My years of experience as companion animal veterinarian have shown me that thankfully cases of abuse are less frequent than instances of improper puppy socialization. It's never too late to socialize your dog, but the optimal time is between 3 to 14 weeks of age. Every dog matures at their own rate, but studies have shown that it's during this critical time that you have the best chance of shaping the personality of your puppy into the adult dog you want. There are two basic methods of training your puppy, positive reinforcement or punishment-based. Punishment-based training can make your dog fearful and defensive. A positive approach teaches what's pleasing to you and results in a constructive human-animal bond. The mantra that every new puppy owner should repeat over and over, especially when your pup has just destroyed your favorite pair of shoes or pooped on the carpet for the umpteen time is, reward what you want and ignore or prevent what you don't. Pets are often leery of unfamiliar or novel stimuli, such as people of different ages, sizes, or ethnic origins. Even unfamiliar clothing, like a uniform worn by a postal carrier or the UPS man, can make a dog wary. Places, sounds, inanimate objects like a vacuum cleaner, and even other animals can also evoke panic. What can you do to avoid causing terror in your terrier? Expose your young dog to as many different stimuli as you can. Do so in a controlled, cautious, and gradual fashion. You don't want to overwhelm your dog. That can cause aversion. If your pup does become fearful, stop the session. Start again at a slower pace. Concern that you may expose your juvenile to illness or you just don't have the time to get your dog out for a meet and greet?